Hello everyone, this is James here. As more and more buying the coffee machine at home, I frequently been asked how could I achieve the quality you make in the cafe. Now I'm going to make you become a pro. Let's get into it. Alright, so in the very beginning, you really need to know how the latte are being created or being evolved. That's all because the fixed density. Uh, milk foams always lighter than espresso shots. That's why it can be easily rest on top of a crema. So as long as you know the right technique to pour, you're going to make a good latte art. So there are three things to make a good spout proximity. I'm going to explain to you each by each from one to three reason why. Number one, distance. Right. So whenever you see the uh, 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 barista pour your latte art, they always have uh, a good distance to pour. What does it mean? In the very beginning, if it's distance more than 10 centimeters, your milk foam will easily go under under your espresso right so in that way you are not going to create a wide bulb so uh, vice versa if you want to click create a wide bulb you need to close your crema as much as close as you can but not touch all right so this is distance Number two, turn the cup. You could always say rotate the cup. What does it mean? Depends on what kind of uh, pattern you're going to uh, create, you're going to make. So if it's an uh, uh, inverted tulip, you start from this way and then you turn 180 degree. Right? So in the very beginning, inverted tulip, you start from here, close, close, close. And turn 180 degree, drop, drop, drop to create a tulip, an invert tulip. I'll have another more video to talking about this different pattern. But second matter to create spout proximity is called uh, rotate the cup. That's 100 degree rotate example. Another rotation is called garland rosetta. It's uh, you need to you want to create something along the edge along the side so you have to turn the cup like this when you make it out here you have to make it like this yeah so rotate the cup is another second things to create the spawn proximity you want to create the crema as close as possible but not touch number three things you want to uh, create a good spell proximity is using a big jug all right so i have two jugs here a medium size 0.6 uh, liter yeah and 0.4 liter so i got a water in here too if it's the same amount of water in here right if it's a large one you could be a little bit closer but if it's a small one, you could only just this angle. So do you see the difference? If it's a large one, it, it will be closer. Do you see the angle? It's very dramatic different, right? So what is in here? Yeah. The bigger one can be closer. 
Yeah, but the small one just a bit higher. So if, if you want to as close your mark as possible you can, you have to use the bigger jar. All right. So uh, spell proximity is the big things you want to make latte are right. So next section, uh, I want to talk about uh, we our latte are actually in processing. Okay, first number one missing. All right, imagine you're going to uh, you're going to uh, uh, paint a wall. You have to patch your hole with a plasterboard filling. You can even use a sander to make it evenly. Likewise. When you make latte or mixing is already determined eighty percent of your latte or complexion. Why would I say that? It's just a simple technique. Yes, it is. If you can make a good mixing, yeah, your uh, coffee acidity and your other. Uh, Coffee uh, espresso chemical compound can't sit properly, can't sit evenly in your cup. Not to mention you want to clean, uh, achieve a clean contrast canva. Okay, so how mixing, how? So by starting a very uh, consistently pulling flow, you could make a good mixing. mixing. Why am I saying that? So I got a water in there. When you're pouring, you always want to make a good flow. Same. Not too big, not too small. Not too big, not too quick, not too slow. This is too quick. Slow. Right? So you want to have a good flow whenever you're missing. Let's do it again. Yeah. This is called good flow flow so flow control is very uh, very very important things to make a good mixing okay so when you mix it always pour to the middle so pour to the middle middle mixing and at this point you can use use your left hand to help you left hand can help you right hand left hand have a good coordination, you can make a good missing. Okay, but be remember if it's a right hand, if you like counterclockwise, make sure your left hand is uh, clockwise. Yeah, your right hand clockwise, sorry, your left hand clockwise. Your right hand counter counterclockwise. Your left hand counterclockwise. You see, I can't do very good on the opposite side because I'm used to uh, clockwise. Okay, so one missing. It's very important. You are processing one. Okay, processing two. So we are talking about uh, when to pull. Okay, when to pull. So when you missing until half full that much. When you miss it until half wool, you start to pull. Okay. And this is about pulling a half, you start in the middle. In the middle, middle, middle. Middle, middle, middle. Do you see the video quick? Yeah, it's the same flow. Until nearly full, you rotate the cup. Up. Cut. Okay. So second, when to pull. You have to know that. The example I'm showing you is about making a ha. That's called symmetrical pattern. But not just about ha, tulip, uh, single rosetta, single swan, you do really need to start from the middle part of the heart. So where is middle? Just like this. 
imagine this is a circle, this is a, um, a, a, a clock, just in the middle, across it. So when you pull, middle part is just literally and, and my cross. Do you see? It's right here, and the middle part. So even though you, you, you tilt the cup, you tilt the cup, you still know where is middle. Isn't it? So it's just cross in the middle. Number three things, three things in processing, it's about uh, star point. Okay, it's called also called placement, someone called placement. So just in the middle part, yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically, basically this is all that when you know the latte actually in processing. I'll have more video for you.